Omnivore was a free open source rated later application um, that a lot of people loved. Uh, I haven't actually used this, I've tested it out, but it was never a part of my workflow, but it is no longer here as of the 30th of November, it actually shut down. So we no longer have Omniwar, uh, but uh, there are a lot of great options. None of them are open source. Uh, a few of them have free plans and paid plans. It all depends on what you need. But in today's video, we are going to take a look at the different options. And let me just take the first one right away. And that is just using your note taking application as a uh, read it later app. It is simple in most note taking applications, you have the versatility to do that and you can save yourself a little bit of money if you wanted to do that or you can save yourself the hassle of changing applications. So it is possible to actually just use your note taking app as a read it later app. Uh, I've used my mind as my read it later application that is better than most uh, other note taking applications at actually being a read, a read it later application. But um, things like Notion, Evernote, you can actually use as a read it later application. So with that covered, let's now jump into the different options we have that are pure read it later applications. The first one is actually called Readwise Reader and you might be familiar with uh, Readwise as an application. Uh, Readwise allows you to connect your uh, your Kindle account to your Readwise account and then having the ability to, um, to actually uh, get your Kindle highlights directly into your note taking app. It has integrations with a lot of note-taking apps. So things like Tana, Reflect, Evernote, Notion, to mention a few actually have um, a way to connect uh, your uh, Readwise account to them, which means that your highlights from both, um, from both Readwise and Reader will uh, be put into uh, your note-taking app. Let me explain that one more time to make it uh, a little bit uh, easier to understand. So. Readwise is an application that allows you to get your highlights from, for example, Kindle into your note taking app, but they also released something called Reader, which is what I'm on right now, which allows you to actually uh, re uh, save articles and go in and read them later. I actually have to read this one. I totally forgot about it, but it is probably the most beautiful um, looking read it later application. So here I can go through my videos, my tweets, my PDFs, so I can choose these right here. I mainly save articles. Uh, so here I can see my articles and it is really fun because I can also go ahead and I can process these. I can archive them, I can move them to later. So let's say I wanted to read this later, I could do that. Uh, same goes for this one. And I can also jump into them and actually just start reading these. I can highlight things as I go. Uh, so I can add highlights, I can remove highlights. The point is that uh, the way I use them is that I actually highlight things um, and then I um, move them into my note taking app. That's how I would use a read it later application. But this is the most beautiful one I have seen uh, and probably the most popular one among uh, people in the productivity uh, space. So if I uh, highlight things, I can also see them, see them right here and I can edit the tags, copy the highlighted text, view in notebook, view in document or share it as well. The point is that this also feels a little bit like a commonplace book, like a place to save every uh, single one of your highlights. So more of a note taking app ability on your articles. Uh, that is something you are getting with this, but it comes with a price. And the pricing of this is that you have to pay for the Readwise plan, which uh, allows you um, to do a bunch of stuff, but you have to pay this Readwise plan right here, which is $8 a month, uh, which is expensive to pay for a Read It Later application. But with this, you are getting Reader, you are also getting the ability to export your highlights to things like Notion, Obsidian, and more. So, uh, Roam, Logsec, Evernote, Heptabase, and Markdown as well. 
So you are getting a few uh, things to uh, use, uh, but uh, it, it it comes with a price. Uh, with this early access beta feature unlocking your uh, price for life, they are considering actually uh, increasing their pricing at some point. So if you pay for it now, you will lock in that pricing. So that was the first option. The second one is um, quite similar. It is actually called Instapaper. And this is the first one I tried out. And all of these applications have Chrome uh, extensions, which allows you to quickly save articles from the extension uh, like this. So you can just click it and save things from your, from your uh, Chrome or in my case, Microsoft Edge. Uh, I have a lot of extensions because I test a lot of note-taking applications. Now back to this one. This is quite similar. So a lot of these are really, really similar to each other. But um, the point here is that uh, this looks a little bit different. Uh, it doesn't have all of the functionality. Uh, I don't like the way this looks, but you have the same like ability to highlight things, to archive things, to see whether or not it is a video. You can also even add folders. So you have some functionality, but I personally like um, like a reader a lot more as a read it later application. I think it looks a lot better, but the pricing on this is a little uh, different. So we have a couple of uh, pricing plans as with everything else. So Instapaper Premium is a subscription for $2.99 each month or $29.99 each year. Uh, as of January 1st, the price is a little bit more expensive. So still cheaper, uh, one, two dollars actually cheaper than a uh, reader. Uh, but with this, you get things like full text search for articles, unlimited notes, speed reading to get through all of the articles up to three times faster, text to speech playlists on mobile, ad free Instapaper websites sent to Kindle using a bookmarklet or our mobile apps. So you get a few features, um, as I said, a little cheaper, but you, uh, I don't personally think it is as good. It is good enough to be a read it later application, but I would honestly consider paying for Readwise if you are going to pay for the premium plan of this anyways. Um, one of the things this application has is the fact that the free plan is quite good. The next one we are going to take a look at and the last one is actually the one I have used the most when I have used read it later applications. And I can see here that I totally forgot about the different articles I had saved in here. So uh, I think I will go back to using a read it later application, but uh, just this one again, I think I showed this in Reader as well, but here you have the ability to highlight text. So let me just go ahead and highlight this. I can also then share my highlights. Basically, that's the functionality I need out of a, out of a Read It Later application. I need the ability to put um, articles into here uh, and then be able to uh, highlight things and move my highlights later. And that is actually something I can do here so if I just go ahead and I just highlight this right here, so let's press highlight. Uh, let's go back. I can actually find my highlights in here. Uh, open this up like this and I can see my highlights and I can go ahead and I can export my highlights. So what I tend to do is that I tend to export my different highlights uh, and then I go ahead and I delete the whole article uh, from my saves. So uh, everything that is inside of my saves is always things that I have to read because I do not necessarily want to use these as note-taking applications. I don't want my highlights to live within them. Um, I just want the ability to have a list of articles that I am going to read. And one of the main reasons for why I like it is because I tend to read a lot more when I actually use uh, an application like this compared to when I don't. When it comes to the pricing of this, this will set you back either 
44.99 a year on the annual plan or 4.99 and I will put the pricing on the screen right now. So uh, with this you get save, read, watch uh, uh, and listen. Uh, permanent library of everything you saved, uh, suggested tags, full text search, unlimited highlights and premium fonts. So it's great to have something like full text search if you are actually going to have your highlights within your read later application. I mainly do not do that. So um, I will uh, not uh, pay for the premium plans, even though I am uh, sometimes considering it just to support the applications I like but this will set you back five dollars uh, each month so it is the cheapest one on the list right now so that covers a few options for read it later applications if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can thank you so so much for watching today's video